So, uh, welcome to Topic Tuesday, and uh, with Batman Day, uh, well, th later this week, and we are in the year of Batman, essentially, um, yeah, I decided that it would be best to kind of talk about Batman. Now, most of you guys know that, um, most of you guys know that I, while Batman is definitely one of, uh, one of my favorite DC superheroes. Um, he's not my number one. That title goes to another guy with an emblem with an S on his chest. So, yeah. But Batman does have a lot of connect... Uh, I think a lot of us can connect to Batman on some level or other. And that's what this topic's gonna be all about, is me asking the question of, what does Batman mean to you? What does Batman... You know, why do you connect to Batman on, a, on any form of level? You know, what kind of level do you connect with the Dark Knight? Now, I can't really connect with a guy who's, you know, a billionaire and has all this money and is, you know, this real, you know, basically a guy who can walk into a room and he just sucks up all the charisma and what have you or just all of the epicness. But on a mental level, I think I can connect with Batman in that this is a guy who just wants to do the right thing. This is a guy who, no matter what kind of trauma he's in or whatever, he just wants to go out and do the right thing for the right reasons. He's not looking for glory or, you know, he's he's looking for, or if he's looking for just kind of a, like a handout or something. No, he's doing this because he went through a traumatic experience at a young age and he puts on this costume to make sure no one else is going to be hurt like that. That's the whole reason he's doing this. It's kind of like why I like the, you know, that arc in I Am Bane, where he reveals, um, when he's having that conversation with, his, well, a kind of conversation with his quote-unquote mother, um, in his head, and he's basically like, no, I didn't do this so Gotham Girl could take over, I did this because it was the right thing to do. She was in, she was in her pain, she was hurting, and I wanted to help her. I wanted to be the, you know, I just wanted to help her, and I was doing all of this for her, you know, for her sanity. I mean, he did fail. Well, let's be honest, he failed, but that's the point is that Batman wants to try. And I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't like Batman as like a, you know, oh, I'm uber gritty, and I just hate everybody, and I don't trust anybody. No. I like my Batman um, in the sense that he's dark and grim and whatever, but he wants to help you. He wants to come out, you, you know, he wants you to get help because he knows he can't get help for what for the way he is. He wants to, you know, he wants to reach out to you and be like, hey, it's, it's going to be okay. I will say that um, I think that's kind of been lost on Tom King a little bit um, since uh, his run has kind of gone on, but earlier on you can clearly see that he understood why Batman was the way he was. And given, you know, I do have my qualms with Scott Snyder's run on Batman. It ain't perfect. Let's be real, people. It ain't perfect. Um, uh, it was, however, a nice little look of that that's, you know, a kind of Batman I like to be characterized is a guy who just wants to do the right thing. He just wants to not just protect his city, but he wants to protect every. He wants to, you know, guard everybody. He wants to make sure a little eight-year-old doesn't go home crying um, to an empty house. That's what he wants. You know, he just, you know, no matter how far he's willing to go or what he's willing to do, Batman is go. You know, Batman is gonna go through hell or high water to make sure that you're safe at the end of the night, even though he's just this normal guy. I mean, yeah, Batman is not a normal human being. Let's get that. Oh, people like him was like, oh, Superman has superpowers, and that's why I can't relate to him. Really? Can you relate to a guy who knows every form of martial arts, super intelligent, and can literally ex machina his way out of anything? Really, you can relate to that guy, but not the guy who, even though, yes, he's a god in every sense, he is a very human character. All right, but the point is, is that I can understand why people relate to him because this is a normal man who overcame his fears, overcame, in a sense, his trauma. Well, that one's argue, that one's debatable. That one is admittedly debatable. But this is a man who overcame a lot of his own. You know, he made his demons his own. Like I said in a video I did a while back, where I talked about how Junko Inoshima would have been, would be a really cool Batman villain, 
Um, and the reason why I kind of talked about that and why Junko would hate, and Junko I mean from Dragon Ropa, Dangan Rope, Dangan Ropa, or however the fuck you pronounce it. Point is, is that the reason why I kind of talked about why Batman would make a good antithesis for Junko is that Batman took his despair and made it hope. That's what he did. Batman took his despair and form, from that despair ma forged hope for it. Not just for, you know, hope for himself, but also hope for those around him. You know, hope for the city, hope for everyone around him. And that's what Batman is, is that he wants to be that hope. He wants to be that person. He wants to, you know, even if he has to break every bone in his body or die... Batman's gonna make, you know, at the end of the day, Batman is gonna, is gonna guard his city and guard the people in it. Um, and I think that's what I can relate to, is that no matter what he's trying to do, he's just trying to be, he's just trying to do good. And that's all I like Batman to be, is like, I, you could make the argument that yes, maybe it's the world's, Bruce Wayne is, Bruce Wayne as Batman is trying to commit the world's longest suicide, um, but you could also make the argument of, yeah, He's just a dude trying to do a little good and make some friends along the way. I mean, if he was so grim and gritty, then why does he have so many people who follow him and trust him? Why is he best friends with gods? You know, if that's the if you really want to make that argument of, oh, Batman doesn't need anybody. Batman needs people. Batman has a support system, and their names are Dick Grayson, Barbara, Go uh, Barbara Gordon, Jim Gordon, Tim Drake, and Damian Wayne. Jason Todd's debatable. Also, Alfred Pennyworth is in that. I should fr uh, fuck. I should have mentioned um, Alfred Pennyworth as the um, first person, really. And also, let's not forget. Also, in that ring of, of support system, a guy by the name of Clark Kent. So yeah. So that's what Batman means to me. Is just a guy, even though he's a little unrelatable on some levels. You can relate to the sense that, despite all of the grim and anger and all of that. He's just a guy trying to do good, and I think we can all appreciate that. So, okay, universe, you guys tell us um, at the in the comments below, what does Batman mean to you? You know, comment below, let us know. You know, tell us stories of why you think why bat why you relate to Batman or what Batman means to you. Um, let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you're new here, remember to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And also, I'd like to thank. All of you guys for sticking with us uh, through the uh, changing of the guard, so to speak. And yeah, welcome to the all new, all different comic universe. And I am DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the new universe.